Do you know what's harder than learning to code? It's actually doing something with it. Like congrats, you learned how to console.log hello world. You built a to-do app that like 9,000 other people built it too. Now what? You want to build something real, something yours. But every time you sit down and try it, your brain goes, what if it sucks? I don't think I'm good enough yet. Shouldn't I take another course first? And trust me, I've been there. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to come up with an original idea, actually start it without spiraling, push through when imposter syndrome shows up with his neck. So let's go. Let's talk about tutorial hell. That sweet cozy place that feels so comfortable. You're just watching tutorials, copying and pasting code and feeling productive. And then you realize you don't remember a single line of code that you just typed. I lived in tutorial hell for months. That scared me. I lived in tutorial hell for months and every time I tried to build something of my own, start my own project, I would panic and run back like, maybe I just need another crash course and then I'll be ready to start. But no, I didn't. And every time I would go to YouTube, I would actually watch other people that would say, if you wanna learn how to code, the only thing that you need is to start. And I would be like, yeah, but how? Why is it so hard to start your own project? It's because no one tells you how. It's not just about knowing code. It's about generating an idea, breaking it down into pieces, figuring out what you actually know and working through what you don't. It's messy, it's not always fun, but the confidence you gain from it, it's worth it. Okay, so you wanna build something. Here's how to come up with ideas without needing to reinvent the iPhone. Step one, solve your own problem. You can ask yourself, what's a little annoyance that I have in my daily life? Is there a boring task I wish I could automate? What's something I always Google that I could build for myself? Like for example, a reading tracker for books I never finish, a dashboard to track job applications, a site that generates random outfit combos for clothes I actually own. Keep it personal, keep it simple. Step two. Remix what already exists. You don't need to be 100% original, like how hard it would be. So you can take an existing concept and make it your own, like a budgeting app for freelancers or a weather app that roasts you if you don't bring a jacket. You're building your own flavor and that's what makes it yours. Step three. Validate it. Ask a friend, would you use this? Would it make your life easier or funnier or cooler? I don't know. Or you can post it on Twitter. Devs love to give opinions. And now that you got an idea, it's time to make it real. Before you touch a single line of code, make a plan. You don't need a huge notion board with 200 tasks, just make something simple. What are the core features? Example, for a movie tracker app, you can add movie, rate movie, mark as watched. What tech stack will you use? What do you know and what do you want to learn? Don't overcomplicate it. If you're just comfortable with HTML, CSS and JavaScript, stick with that. Sketch it out. Use paper, use Figma, use the back of a receipt. Visualizing your ideas makes it feel real. So then you can break it down into small tasks. Build a nav bar, add a form, connect it to local storage or Firebase. Progress is better than perfection. And this step is what most people skip. So when I tell you to build a plan before you build your app, it's really easy that you get stuck on that planning stage and then you start adding task over task and you never actually start it. It doesn't have to be complicated. It has to be efficient. You have to start somewhere and it doesn't have to be the perfect start. You just have to start it. And then when it's already done, you can improve it. You can add new features and updates. All right, it's go time. Here's how to actually get through the building process without losing your mind. Embrace ugly code at first. Your first version will be messy and that's fine. Get it working, then clean it up. Google AI is gonna be your co-pilot. You will get stuck and that doesn't make you a bad developer. It just makes you a developer. It's completely normal to ask for help, to use AI for help. This is what AI was built for, to help humans. So don't be shy, ask your questions. Type your question on Google. Maybe someone already asked that same question on 
and Stack Overflow, which is a dev community if you don't know, and it's really helpful. There is no shame in asking for help, in fact, that shows how much you're willing to actually learn. And also, push your code to GitHub. Even if no one sees it, get in the habit of version control. Trust me, that's gonna become your portfolio. You can have all of your projects there and it will help you land a job. Real talk now, your biggest bug will be your brain. Imposter syndrome will show up and it will stay. This is too basic. You're not good enough to build this. You should just go back to that crash course. That voice is lying to you. You're building, you're solving problems, you're learning, and every error you fix makes you better. So yeah, when I heard those developers on YouTube saying the best way to learn how to code is to actually build something and just code, they were not lying. You have to keep going. Of course, you need to know the basics. Possible that maybe you're never gonna feel like you're actually ready to start on your own, but trust me, open VS Code and just start. That's the only trick. And also celebrate your wins. You got a form to submit properly, win. Figured out your first media query, win. You made a button change color on click, win. And then you're almost done. So how to actually finish and share your project. You can add a readme file that explains what it does and how someone else can run it. You can polish the UI just a little. You don't need to be a designer, but basic spacing, colors, and font choices go a long way. Deploy it. You can use Vercel or GitHub pages and now you have a real site with your name on it. Share it everywhere. Post it on Twitter. Hey, I made this. Post it on LinkedIn. Share your projects. Add it to your portfolio. Mention it when you apply to jobs. Let the world know your skills. And remember, done is better than perfect. Just build whatever you know, and that's how you're gonna get better. So you don't have to wait to be an expert to start building. You just have to start. And all those people you admire, they started with tiny weird projects too. Your job is not to be the best developer on day one. It's to become a little better every time you build something. So go make something, even if it's small, even if it's chaotic, because every project you build, it's proof that you're not just learning, you're creating. And that shows that you actually know what you did with those skills that you've been learning. Because if you only watch tutorials and copy and paste code, you're never gonna learn how to build stuff on your own. So subscribe if you're ready to stop watching tutorials and start building. See you next week. Mm -hmm.